Hey guys, I want to find out uh, which amplifier you prefer, if you like one or the other, or both. Which amplifiers am I talking about? I have a Tone King Imperial Mark II behind me, and right beside it is a Fender 64 Deluxe Reverb, the custom hand-wired edition. This is a Fender Heavy Relic 61 Custom Shop Stratocaster, a Wildwood 10, and we'll get right to it. I'll compare cleans to cleans. I'm going to start off on the Tone King. And the volume is about 9 o'clock, maybe just a hair above 9 o'clock. I'm on the neck and middle pickup position on the Strat. is a little bit above three which is actually about where I gig with it at the shows that I do I believe it's volume matched here's the deluxe <laughs> Just give you an idea of the chime. Alright, that's the deluxe. Here is the Tone King. I've got the treble down to at about 10 o'clock. I could take it up to like 11 or so. sounds like. So I'm on the Deluxe right now. I'll stay on the Deluxe. But now, actually, let me, uh, I'll just keep coming back and forth. I am in the Tone King. All right. I'm just going to check my tuning real quick. Looks pretty good. All right. And I've recorded a loop. So here we go. I'll solo over it clean and I'll engage an overdrive pedal at some point.
All right, <clears throat> so that's the Tone King. Um, inspiring to play, it feels good, sounds good, it does not leave me wanting. Here's a deluxe, which has a little bit of a different signature. Here's a deluxe. There's something about the lead notes. It's probably the speaker. It's a 35 watt Jensen speaker. And I believe the speaker is breaking up and it's a part of that overdriven sound that is, it's a great, great sound. Now I will show you one other quick thing on the Tone King. So that's an awesome sound on the Deluxe Pushed. The Tone King has an attenuator called the Iron Man Attenuator. It's in the back of the amp. It's just a rotary dial with I think five positions, might be six, I think it's five. I'm gonna dial it back two clicks and I'm gonna take the volume up from, it was about nine o'clock, a little above nine o'clock. So now I've got the, the amp attenuated back two levels. I've got the volume up to about one to two o'clock. I'm gonna go to the bridge pickup and listen to what I can get out of the Tone King without any pedals. power tube distortion out of the amp because I'm pushing that front input but I've attenuated the amp. Um, it's just cool. I can't quite do that with the deluxe. I can hit it with a pedal but then it gets louder. Here's um, something a little bit different. <laughs> Something really cool you can do on the 
Chong King. Again, take the attenuator back up to full power, taking the volume down to about 9 or 10 o'clock. And here, hear how clean, sparkly, bright. real quick. Pretty bright. I apologize for that. I probably should have rolled off the tone knob a little bit. Um, the Deluxe has a cool sag, just a little bit of push but that's still pretty hot and loud. So the Tone King with the attenuator lets me just get it singing and cooking without having, hitting any pedals. So that's super cool. And um, the Deluxe does have a really cool I have not spent much time with that. Uh, let's let's see if we can go into that. expensive than the hand wired 64 deluxe so there's that um, what do you think I, I'm really impressed with both amps I love them both the deluxe is not going anywhere um, but this Tone King Imperial Mark II is really impressing me what do you guys think 